Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter three, lesson four of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. Let's go ahead and continue our learning. So today we are going to investigate this question. How do nutrients in the soil help plants grow? We can use this sim to help us figure out what nutrients do for plants. As ecologists, you will need to observe the plants in the sim very closely. We're going to change the ecosystem so nutrients disappear from the soil and observe the plants. To open the simulation, you can log on to Amplify, click on the Ecosystem Restoration Unit, and then click on the orange box with a 1, or you can keep watching this video. I'm going to go ahead and open the simulation now. So remember, when we observe the simulation, we want to keep our focus on the plants. I'm going to go ahead and press play and speed up by two. So as we observe our simulation, let's focus on the nutrients, which are our purple triangles, and our plants, which is right here. So I am seeing a lot of water and nutrients go into the plant through the roots and that's giving it some more energy to give food matter to the rabbits and to the mushrooms. Let's observe for a couple more moments. So again, I see the nutrients and the water going into the plant through the roots, which is giving the plant energy, and it's also allowing the plants to give food energy and matter to both rabbits as well as decomposers. I'm going to go ahead and go back to the presentation. So if we were to remove the decomposers in the simulation, the plants become really unhealthy and start to wither. So answer this question. What do you think the connection is between the decomposer and plant parts of an ecosystem? Why do the decomposers seem to affect the plants? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your Chapter 3 Lesson 4 Activity Packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. I also want you to think about this question. What do nutrients do for plants? To answer this question, again, you can write the answer in your Chapter 3 Lesson 4 Activity Packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Go ahead and pause the video to answer this question. Our next question is how do nutrients affect an ecosystem? You can answer this question the same way you've been answering the other questions earlier in this lesson. Go ahead and pause the video to answer question eight now. So we learned about the role nutrients play in creating bigger and taller plants. Remember our plant and nutrient rich soil at the beginning and after six months compared to the plant and nutrient poor soil at the beginning and after six months. And answer this question, why do we care that the plants are bigger and taller? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three lesson four activity packet in a notebook you can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video to answer this question now. One really important vocabulary word that we've been using a lot this chapter is nutrient. That means something taken in by plants and animals that helps them grow. Let's keep this in mind as we move forward with the rest of our lessons and finishing out chapter three. That is the end of lesson four. I'll see you in lesson five.